Hey all. Today I'm going to do a little review of this little, uh, digital microscope I just bought recently. And this is it here. This is it. Just like you've seen, if you've looked for it, you've seen it on eBay, you've seen it on Amazon. It's basically a little digital microscope. Now you can see this one's made in China. It takes photo, video, and it has a USB hookup, so you can hook it up to your computer. Now on the back here I noticed it said uh, USB of course, but it said Windows 2000, blah blah blah, Windows 7, Linux, Windows 8, but the uh, Android isn't checked. But the thing obviously works on Android because that's what I'm going to demonstrate it on right now. So this is the box it came in, this little box. Smaller than my screen. Came with a little uh, card here to uh, calibrate. I don't know how to calibrate. Uh, I didn't read the directions. Comes with a little CD that you can use to uh, install the software on your computer. It's two different programs. I think one is a video and one is for taking pictures. And I've used it and it, it, it works but uh, I'm not sure how, how much I like it. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is, you can see that's a little bit light. Eh? Every time the wire pulls on it, it knocks it over. So let's get the wire up on the table here so we don't knock it over. Okay, so my uh, my tablet happens to have a, uh, a USB port on top, so I could just plug it in like that. And you can see as soon as I plugged it in, the, the light went on. Now there's a little knob here on the wire that, that I could use to lower the light or shut it off if I want. So for now, I'm going to shut it off. Now we're going to turn on our tablet. And there's a little uh, program we used to uh, run this. I think it's called Camera Fi. Let me see if I got it on here. Yeah, there it is. Camera Fi 2. And let's hope this does uh, the right thing. Hope this is the right program. Okay, come on. Okay, it looks like I finally got it working. I had to reboot the uh, the program a couple times and it finally got it working. I don't know what the hell was the matter with it. Anyway, you can see on the screen, what I'm going to do is get a coin here. See if we can take a closer look at it. We got a, uh, what is it? Big. Let's read it under the microscope, huh? I can't see that thing. Now you can see how I got it uh, focused in. See it on the screen? See the Y there? The G? Oh, it looks like an error, huh? I'm, I'm imagining that if you look at it, at coins under a microscope, most of them are going to have errors. Look at that error. That's something. I think that's an error. Yeah, that's a G. Looks like it, either the die was starting to get messed up or there was something in it. Sometimes it's easier to move the microscope than it is to move the, uh, the coin under it. Takes some getting used to. You see the ridges? So anyway, it does work on a 
Android as you see. That's some kind of coin, eh? Now one thing about this I want to say is the focus leaves a lot to be desired because huh, this seems to be working better now. I want to be able to pull back you know a couple, an inch or so and and still have a good good focus but that's not the case here. The most I can pull back is like an eighth of an inch. So at this uh, focus range I can pull it up like an eighth of an inch and be in focus. Or else I gotta be right down on it. Which uh, being down on it ain't too bad because it keeps it from moving around and bouncing around. But yeah, so you, you got a nice focus in here. Now there's a focus button on the side. I don't know what that does. If it's if it, you hold that in and you zoom in more, I think that might be what it is. I zoom out. Supposed to be some kind of autofocus, but it doesn't seem to work too good. Yeah, I gotta get it closer. Or maybe now that I uh, switch that over, I don't know. Anyway, you can see it goes pretty good. It's just hard to control. If we look at the uh, the board I'm, I'm on here, you can see how close up it goes. Let me see if I can get it focused in a little better. Anyway, that's pretty good, huh? It's moving around a little. You can see the tiniest little red string there. Probably can't even see it. Yeah, I can't even see it on there. That's pretty neat. If there's any little bugs in there, anyway, so that's how the uh, microscope works. If you get the focus, is the trickiest part, you know, especially you know, you're, you're holding it, you let go, and then. So the best thing to do is get it close down, hold it, yeah, anyway, when you first get it, it's going to have this little lens cap on the top, on on here, Take make sure you take that off before you start trying to focus in on stuff, because it's like a double image, you'll get, it'll look like spots are on your lens, but it's really on your lens cover. Other than that, the stand's pretty chintzy. It could have some weight to it, but it doesn't. There is a nice, nice room on the bottom. We could probably add a magnet to it, or add a nice weight to it. You know, a couple washers, glue them in there. You see that? Yeah, we could probably add some weight to that. You know, this, this actually comes off like that. So you could you could scope around like that without the stand. Sometimes you might be better off without the stand. Like right now, I'd rather do this without the stand. And get that cap back off so we could see it again. Now here's my other problem with this thing. My light goes off and on sometimes. When I complained about it on eBay, they said, uh, oh. Maybe you don't know how you're using it. Well, 
you just saw it right there. The light just went off for no reason. There we go, nice and close up there. So it does do its job. But uh, maybe it does it a little too good sometimes. So anyway, that's my video for today. I'm screwing around with a digital microscope. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you in the next video.